Hello everyone and welcome back to Sandrock. I may have lost my voice, but that does not stop us from being the best builder that we can be in this desert town. Let's check our mail. Let's see a letter here from the research center. Oh my god. I love how he writes. You may check it for errors, but you may be wasting your time. I can only key them. We have to figure out what goes into the dew collector. So we need a marble brick. You can quarry it or you can buy it. I think it says I need to find a store that sells this, so that's probably a better. Need eight of it to make two, and everything else is doable. Bull. Um, and then things we do need are wooden sticks, which, by the way, how do we get those? Stage backdrop, wooden stick. Use wood on the wood tables. Okay, let's do that. Wooden stick. Just need five. And we've built the stage. Amazing. Um, our bag is full once again. I think I can make... Oh, I must have already done it. Anyway, so let's sort all. Um, and I think that's it. We have a few quests lined up for today. Um, the show must go on, which we can do, salted fish blues, which we can do, and build our cruise, but we need to buy the recipe from... Where do we need to buy the recipe from? Oh, it's Unsure. I want to talk to Unsure. Unsure is definitely one of my favorite characters, hey because what kind of name is Unsure? We were shorthanded in the Sandrock Civil Corps. Then the captain showed up to help us fight the bad guys. You should also get a pet. Captain. I thought they were referring to their like actual captain, but it's the cat. Catch you later. And yeah, we should all have pets. Okay. Let's go on ahead and ride all the way to here. Let's buy it first. We'll do we'll buy it first. We'll figure out how to make the bench. Where is it? This one. Bench. Oh my god, I have no money. Oh, wait. Doing that. We're doing the bench. Let's do the bench first before we install it. Because I want to have it going while. If we need anything going, I want to have it going while we're out and about. And I think I probably should, might be able to just have it. Bench. We need basic leather, which we don't have. We need animal skin. Which we also don't have, and we don't have salt. So, okay. I don't even want to do that. I just want to ride the horse. Okay. Never mind. Let's just go ahead and install the backdrop. I'm guessing it's ca the kind of thing where if we're done, Mian will also be done. Hello. Uh -huh. So let's go ahead and install it. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, I was right. Both finished. Let's put the stage back in business. All right. Ta-da! <laughs> this looks great. Was this like how the old stage looked? No, it's not. You know not. what? It feels so nice to work with a really good builder like you. Can't wait for more projects. I don't know if she's trying to flirt with me. Well, well she's probably guess not. Guess we're done. All that's left to do is inform our good minister Matilda of our good deed. Sounds anyway, good. do you mind doing the honors and telling her we finished? I've gotten really behind on my commissions. Thanks! Sounds like Mian does a lot of work to be behind commissions. I don't even have any commissions. to be what's left of a shopping mall from the old world called Paradise Lost. That is a weird name to name a mall, but I'm not here to judge. There's another blue thing, made in the shade with Aravio, and... We have to do taste of your medicine as well. So we'll do the ones at the upper end of town first before we go and talk to Arvio. Worst case, we can do Arvio's tomorrow. I should just take a look at them. 
Oh, there's a reward for a hat. Good reward. We need to buy salt anyway, so we'll be talking to Arvio later. You've rebuilt the stage? Well, aren't you two just precious? <laughs> that was quick. On behalf of everyone in Sandrock who enjoys a good hoedown, thank you very much for your service. You're Since welcome. Mason's in a hurry to get out of town, let's just hold his farewell party tomorrow morning. I'm sure I can get everyone together, even on such short notice. You sure. It's grand. See you tomorrow then. All right. Oh, and we got a shirt. Which one's better? Where's this one? Talk to Penn since he's here. It irks me that there's a man here named Justice. I just don't like it when my motto is associated with someone else. Farewell. Yeah, I think you just need a better, better motto there. And no, one word motto is like pretty cool. Can't blame him for that. Let's go ahead and we have salted fish blues and a uh, taste of your own medicine. Let's, but I'm wondering because there's another blue thing. Waiting. Uh, oh, there's another one at the clinic. Oh, it's at the clinic. So we'll do it at the clinic. Let's just go on ahead and talk to Mort first. Who lives down here? Oh, I didn't know there was fall damage. Thank you. Yes, Vivi did tell me to give you these. Oh, look at the horrors bursting through. That was so cool. Mm -hmm. Sure. Now we are having tea with Mort. I did not expect this. Yeah. He's not voiced, so I'm gonna read it out. <laughs> I didn't expect a young one like you to have such patience to spend time with an old man like me with one foot in the grave. Sandrock is a town plagued by disaster. When you came, a small glimmer of hope returned to me. Why did you stay in Sandrock? When we arrived in Sandrock, we were so bright-eyed. I truly believe that we could maintain a balance between development and the environment, and develop a good life here. But alas, the world doesn't conform to the whims of mortals. Yeah. After the decline of Sandrock, I was torn. Maybe I should have persuaded Mortal to leave this place. Maybe now we'd be living together with a calm life somewhere else in the free cities. Was our persistence meaningful? <sighs> but if I leave now, the efforts of the generations now buried will have been sacrificed for naught. This is not the world that Martyr and I aim to see, so I must stay. <laughs> anyway, Martyr and I have fond feelings about you builders. When Sandrock was developing, we recruited a host of builders. They were hardworking and brave to a person. They built the Shonash Canyon Bridge, built the moisture farm, and everything else you see around you now. But it came at a cost. The effect it's had on our environment was devastating. Yeah. I hope you and Mian can keep in mind that the environment is the foundation of sustainable development. But perhaps my words are coming too late. Thank you. Well, I've talked for too long. I won't hold you from your work any longer. Thank you for taking time to talk to an old man. You've warmed an aging heart. I'm gonna visit Mort all the time, like all the time. It's just, it's just gonna happen. Mort, Mort and I are gonna be best like buddies. Like that is the commitment I'm making to everyone today. That Mort is gonna be my best friend. So long, oh, is Mort and Grace related? Hi. Why is Grace here? Heat the pan, mix in cream with salt, add the eggs. She doesn't know how to make um omelets. Mort. Is friends with Vivi and the Crow X. Who's is this related to um, X? Okay, since we're already in this area, let's go on ahead and go to the clinic over here. They did say Wednesdays is the day. That we need to be here. That's the moisture farm, I believe. 
Am I going the right way? Because I don't believe I am. Uh, the clinic's up there. Let's go back. Ah! Just running back. And I think this is the clinic, so I don't know how I even like messed that up. Okay, let's talk to... Oh, I was Are these really free? Thing. I always believe there's no such thing as a free lunch. What does this medicine actually oh, do? My aching back. That's that's great. This is Is this a demonstration? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, this is the free med yeah, vacation. Surely a bird would now mislead us. Impossible. Animals are pure of hearts. I'll take twenty. I'll take twenty. <laughs> the bird would never miss lead us it's free it's free okay go, go. I, I don't know what these do learned lavender <laughs> extract just using us for experiments. Oh, it's a uh, heal over time. X, do you want a cracker? Soon. No, no. Hmm. Okay, so we did that. Okay, well, um, that made me pass out. Dang. Wakey, you gonna take wakey. care of me? Wakey. Noted. Noted. Okay, let's try the last one as well. Oh, you can only do twice? Okay, well, that's fine. Alright. I actually want to check out the moisture farm. I'm assuming it's a way to get, obviously, water and dew. But is there a way for us to do so? <laughs> can we get dew from this moisture farm? Yeah, I'm gonna guess that that's a no, probably. Let's just explore a bit. Okay, well, oh, there's a chest here. Because of course there would be. But we're not gonna take it yet, as you know. We're saving it for a video. Let's see if I get fall damage from jumping down here. No, I did not. Okay, well, so based on this, what we're missing is, oh, we can do Made in the Shade with uh, Arvio. Where's the horse? Come here. You have to go all the way to Arvio, so we'll take the horse. Oh, that's not the right direction. Go all the way to Arvio, and then I'm going to collect the stuff that we need to make the Jew Collector, as well as the Bench, which will probably take a bit. I thought I had... What was I missing in the bench? I thought I had it. Or do, do I not? No bench in my inventory, so I'm gonna say that that's a no. I must be missing wrong direction. I'm thinking that that's the road. Okay. Go through here. All the way up here. I love the way the horse moves. Okay. Go off. We need some salt. I am not really sure how many. So I'm just gonna buy like 10 for now. Oh, I have some money now. Oh, sure. oh we also need to buy marble. Which we'll buy from Construction Hi Junction. That. Sure. Oh, I forgot to read it out loud. Excellent. I am in need of a sunshade. Do you know what that is? I'm pretty sure it's standard builder stuff. You probably already have a diagram of it in the handbook of yours. Once you have it built, help me install it on the Oasis front as well. It will really help me out. Let's talk to him while we're here. My friend, you work so hard every day. You should really treat yourself. I bought some salt. See ya. <laughs> that's, what, that's my treat for myself, is just some salt. Okay, now let's go to Construction Junction. Talk to Jasmine on the way there. Howdy. See ya. And to Nemo. We're gonna be best friends with these pets soon enough. 
and we need to get i think it's eight marble that we need it's the shop i hope it's not terribly oh that's a lot and there's only five we'll get five oh wait no it's five each so i have 25 marble not good i mean i can just stock it stock it but anything stealable Ooh, ooh, there's a bar, there's a bar, there's a bar. Let's clean this up over here. Bar. Gather. Is Nemo following me? We give them some meat? Do you think that's fun? I don't know. If, I don't know if he liked that. Are we able to tell from here? Okay, so... He, he does not love, like, dislike, or hate it, so it's probably like a neutral. Then he left me. I thought he would like meat, kind of like how Scraps liked meat, but Scraps might probably be a less picky dog. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and kill some stuff so that we could get, um, he looks mad. So that we could get... I'm gonna kill some stuff so we can get the leather for the Jiu Collector. And we also need leather for this, so Howdy. that'll be a thing, and I'll be back when we have it. Fill. But at least you only have to fill one shoe each. Alright, be, be right back folks, I'm gonna kill some yak moles. Hey folks, good morning once again, and this is Mason's Howdy Farewell Party. Thank y'all for coming. Today's ceremony marks a bittersweet occasion. One of the finest darn builders to ever grace this humble town will be leaving all of us. But he's off to a well-earned retirement. Ow. A few words, Mason? I'm gonna be like, a few words. <laughs> It appears our dear Mason is overwhelmed with emotion. Come on, folks, lighten up. A toast, then, to Mason and to new beginnings for the future of Sandrock. Well, um, that was good. Nothing really happened. Here. And now the time has come to say goodbye. We meet again. Just listening to some music. Oh, I see. Seeing your father up there picking and strumming like a mad fool. Well, it brings me back. No. It ain't fair, Ma. You and Pa get to pursue y'all's leisures and do whatever y'all want. When's it my turn? Aww. Now, Elsie, dear, you still got some growing up to do. I reckon once you show a bit of maturity, like your friend Nian here, perhaps we could do these off the reins a bit. Oh my god, this is so not good. I always had this growing up where my friends' parents would compare my friends to me. And that was not, I'm telling you, not a good feel. Oh, I... Yeah, exactly. Nian ain't no more mature than me. That lucky cushion we put in Pa's drumming chair the other day was her idea. <laughs> this is funny. What? It's because I lost that bed to you. Aww. Well, it's just like a cute little funny thing, and then there's another conversation Somehow here. Somehow this doesn't feel like a party. Come on, y'all. The, the music's great. Let's have some fun. We can worry about the town's prospects later. Owen oh, is so... <clears throat> Why, yes, Owen. There's no need to worry about our prospects, as we have no prospects to worry about. That's... <laughs> okay. Hey, Gramps. You're killing the vibe, man. What's with all the doom and gloom? Sand Rock is only up and up, you hear? Soon, everything's gonna be smooth sailing. I truly believe it. How could you expect someone named Mort to not bring the doom and gloom? Justice is right. We have a lot to look forward to. Two new builders, Trudy's close to a breakthrough. Everything will be all right for Sand Rock. Oh, Trudy's the mayor. Talk to Mort. He's going to be our friend. Yeah. You must learn to love yourself, young one. One day you might be all alone. Best then to be at least in good company. That is very true. 
Be seeing ya. I am alone right now, so I mean, like, I'm alone playing video games, talking to myself. Okay, let's go on ahead and buy. We need the things for the recipe for marble bricks. I will say I've had to spend more money in Sinkar compared to playing Portia, which is interesting. And go ahead and install Arvio's Sunshade, which is just in the lakefront. Nothing to steal here. Burgess is picking up some trash. Is that why this is usually clean? Because Burgess does it. But it wasn't when, um, mm -hmm. when the sandstorm was here. I can finally. Oh my god, I, I really am so bad at, like, doing, like, one accent for each character. I can finally enjoy the oasis view in the shade. I've been bugging old Mason to help me forever. But he was always busy this, busy that. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, we did it. And out of that, we got a hat. Let's try putting it on. I like that it doesn't ruin our hairstyle like it did uh, in Portia. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and make a couple of marble bricks. I really want to see the this dew collector. Coco, why are you awake? Aren't you nocturnal or something? And I think I realized when we went to try out the medicines, I think we had this medical poster. Is it? And I think we can put it in our house. We can try. Oh, we have a letter as well. But first, let's put in the marble brick so that they can start working. About to run out of. It's about to run out of um. Energy. Don't have a lot of scraps. Haven't been collecting a lot of scraps. From Vivi. Thank you for helping me out with the salted fish. I'm sure Mort appreciates the care. You can bring him more from time to time if you so feel. He'll enjoy it. I made a little something to say thank you, and we got 50 goals, rough cloth, and thin thread, which would have been good before, but a letter. Dear Barry, it was pretty neat how you rebuilt the stage after the storm. Sandstorm. Actually, you've done a lot of cool things since you got here. Already, Mason's old place looks a lot better than when he lived there. The way he decorated his yard with garbage, I mean... You have to admit it was original, but it just wasn't for me. You're a lot nicer than he is, too. I like how you're always working hard and helping people out. It's a refreshing change of pace. If everyone in the world were more like you, well, at the very least, we'd have a lot of stages. Anyway, here's an opal. You don't have to thank me. I hope it can be the kind- I hope it can be the kind of pal that makes you say, Oh. Oh, I get it! Opal. Opal. I am guessing this is from Logan. Thanks for the compliments. I just did what needed to be done. I'm glad I left an impression, though. Leave your name le next time. I'd like to know who you are. I'll just leave this in my letterbox. Maybe you'll see it. Acquire. I'm guessing it's from Logan. And if it's from Logan... You acquired friendship points with me yet. And if it's from Logan, I actually want to favorite it. This one. To look back on later. And if it's from Logan, we're totally romancing Logan. That's like, it's not even a question. We're doing Logan. I know I've been like kind of into everyone, like tour. Oh my god, should I do like everyone else? first and then Logan last? No. We'll do another save for everyone else, but for the most part I think we'll do Logan for this save. Or I don't know, we'll see how it turns out really. Mm. How do we talk to X if he's always on... Mm. How do we talk? Mm. Okay, never mind. I give up. I give up. Howdy. Sand. Can do a... It's coarse. Grainy. Gets everywhere. What's not to love? I'm sure it's so weird. Be seeing you. <laughs> what was I gonna say? If it is Logan who wrote those letters, I think we can do like Logan 
like trying to go for Logan in this playthrough and then we can make another playthrough that kind of just is um like going after everyone and I want to do that in Porsche as well but you know I wanted to do a bunch of stuff oh and we can do this quest with Mian um which is called the Builder Cruise Mian has invited you to go around town and look for things that need to be fixed. Oh, we need some more wood, wooden planks. I think wooden planks are made through here. We need ten. So we'll make three. So, I'm gonna go ahead. It's still morning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and collect a bunch of materials. And then when we get back... We're definitely going to do the Builder Cruise with Mian. Alright everyone, welcome back. We got the stuff for both the Dew Collector and for the Builder Cruise. Let's put down the Dew Collector because I think this is more important. Ew. I guess we just have to collect Dew from here. And I'm guessing we're going to want a couple of these, so we'll, we'll, we'll start with that. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do the Builder Cruise with Mian. Who I think is just around here somewhere. I think she's over there. Mian's always sprinting, by the way. So... We'll go past her a bit. And then talk to her. Yep, that's why. Good job. I've got All right. Well. Let's just take a good rest today and start our special builder crew job. Are you tomorrow. serious? I thought we were gonna do it today. I'll find you in the morning. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. Fine. Okay. Well, since I don't have anything to do right now, I'm going to collect a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna make another dew collector. See if I can get any commissions to make a bit of money so that we can expand our yard. And I'll see you at our builder cruise in the morning. So, this is absolutely crazy. I put it on escape, I press escape, because I wanted to go have a sandwich before continuing the video. I was hungry, right? And I came back, and I thought that would be like paused, and I came back, and I was like, well, I hadn't eaten the sandwich, it was in my hands, and I was like, well, I can eat the sandwich while going through the encyclopedia. When I closed the encyclopedia, I just passed out. So I'm assuming the game doesn't pause when that happens there's a commotion outside but i don't know what it is so let's just go ahead and howdy take a partner look. that's sand rock needs for hello hope you got plenty of rest i prepared the route for our builder cruise okay first stop the train station you might have noticed that the floorboards on the platform there are all full of potholes well that ends today let's go okay before we go with me and the game said that there's an event, other events happening, and to zone out and come back. So we went back inside to come back out again. Let's see what's happening. Ooh, this seems interesting. The train. Oh, it's Logan. It's in the back. I'll go. Hmm. Are you? Everybody hands up. Nobody moves. Hey now, hands up. No funny business. I don't know if I like Logan. Well? I got it. Let's go. Freeze, Logan. We got you now. Today. He's so action packed. Ah, consarnate. Not again. Oh, they're using gliders. To fly away. Okay, I guess that must be the multiple event, and then this has to be about the event as well. So you're telling me you didn't see anything? I no one saw, saw anything. In that man's eyes, a burning desire for vengeance that sent chills through my very essence. Very dramatic. Right, pal, did you see anything that will hold up in a court of law? Not to that effect. No, I didn't. So nothing. So let me get this straight. None of y'all saw him take anything. Nobody got robbed. 
Well. Excuse me, Captain, sir. Oh, he's a Ernest, reporter. Atara Times. Would you be able to comment on all the wild allegations surrounding this incident? Who is this Logan, and what are his motivations? Do you believe he may be in possession of weapons of mass destruction? I was just about to say that this character, like, when it was far away, that it looked like he was a special character because he just looked good in comparison to all the other characters uh, they were don't interviewing. Get much, do you, partner? First off, I'm the sheriff around these parts. Captain's the cat. Second, I'm the one asking the questions here, not the other way around. That's funny. So, Justice is the sheriff, Captain is the captain, and then I'm sure it's probably, like, reporting to Captain. Dang reporters. Almost made me lose my train of thought. Train? Ah, yeah. The train robbing. Or lack thereof. Well, we still got him for attempted hijacking, resisted arrest, unlawful use of firearms. I'll add it to the pile. Uh, the first several days of Sand Rock seems to be pretty action-packed. All are free to go. And remember, if any of y'all think of any info you think we can use to catch Logan, run on back to Civil Corps double time. Double time. Well, let's talk to Ernest. Can we? Can't wait to get out of this place. Or they're just waiting to. They're just waiting for the train, I guess. And this has to be a commission to fix the train. Wandering around aimlessly, eh? That is so you. Great news! I've got something you can do right here. It's gotta <laughs> yes. be. I was hoping to uh, run into one of you builders. You see, that pesky Logan has struck again. More specifically, he struck this here train window, and Jensen called me over all in a huff. Where, 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 my poor widow Twain? <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't entertain, let alone reward such babery. But Matilda babery. was standing right there. So, but all of that is neither here nor there since you're here, clearly with nothing better to do. So you'll have no trouble accepting this commission, am I right? Well, the money is money. Now at the station, just get some glass and fix the window. Should be easy as pie. Well, off you go then. Scoot. Come see me when it's done for your pay. Sounds good. Who is Carl? I don't think he's like he's one of the workers, probably. Hello. Mm -hmm. Nothing is missing. I see ya. Um, and what? What did? Oh, the planks inside is what um, me and wanted to fix. Meanwhile, I think we just need to get. Oh, we have mail. Let's check the mail from Pen. What? Skinny arms. You might be wondering why you're home in bed, safe and sound. As you may have already guessed, it's all because of me. But honestly, I should be thanking you for giving me such a laugh. I just happened to be in the neighborhood when I saw you hunched over like an overindulged mutant, but you were drooling and everything. Oh, this is when I passed out. Oops. <laughs> Don't worry about compensation. Bringing you back home is what is to me what lifting a feather is to you. Yeah, that's because I passed out. I got a telegraph from the Atara post office saying that the designs of my quilts looked a lot like a Duvas code language. Can you believe that? I don't know anything about Duvas except they're a bunch of poobahs. So they held the quilts and sent people to come ask a bunch of questions here. Luckily, the Highwind authorities stepped in and vouched for me. Quilts should be on the way now. What a headache. Love you lots, mom. Okay. So we need glass. We need ten. We'll, we'll build the glass while we're here. Um, we still have enough water to last us for a bit. Also, I was able to make a perfect quality juke collector, so one of them has a 30 capacity and one of them is a 20 capacity. I figured having two would be better, because it's not about the capacity, it's about like the minimum that I can get. So, we'll see how much we're, we'll be able to get from that. Here we are! Let's fix these holes! While we're waiting on the glass, let's just do the Builder Cruise with me and... Five links. That'll do it. Looks good. To the next target: the fence surrounding Martel's Oasis. Builder crews, roll out. All right, let's roll out. I am still kind of hungry. No, I think I might be good, or I might be hungry. I don't know. We'll see. 
Well, we didn't have enough wood to. Oh, it's just like right, patching the broken here we bits. Are. Now, is it just me, or is this fence just a little lacking in the looking department? No offense. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to our friend here. The vents? Get it? <clears throat> Let's fix up the wonky looking parts and then move on. She's cute. I like her too. Okay, so let's fix it. I'm done. I think we're gonna install a bench a somewhere else. Team, huh? We got that done in a flash. All right, on to our next mission. Beach installation in Town Square. Did you just say beach? You see, one day, I noticed Vivi walking all over town, looking kind of drained. When it suddenly hit me, there's nowhere to sit down anywhere in the center of town. Thus, benches. So funny, this is Arvio's umbrella that I made for him, and now there's like chairs underneath. He must have added it on his own, but I think that was just cute. So let's go on ahead and run to wherever she's trying to take us. Actually, I want to check if we're able to purchase water, and one water is 53 galls, so no. Where did she go? This isn't even the way. Shoot. Where are we supposed to go? I took the wrong way. I took the long way. Okay, what do we have here? This looks like a pretty good spot. Say, let's see who can build up a bench faster. Ready? Go! I mean, she was kind of there already. Woo! Nice! But the real winners are the tired, the weary, the huddle masses yearning to sit freely. Now they have these super cool benches to rest on. She's kind of, you know, she's really pretty. I was actually also thinking we should add some shrubbery. Maybe some flowers. But this soil is just so barren. Okay. Uh, well, that's neither here nor there. We did good today. Here, a little something as a token of my appreciation. You didn't have Thank to you, Mian. this thing. But I'm glad you did. Let's do it again sometime. What did she give me? Oh, some materials. Grab the jerky from here and anything else. Hey, look. That looks good. Okay. Wait, there is a quest here. Uh Arvio, so runner up. We have something a tailor made. I'm gonna guess that the stuff probably still isn't done yet. So let's just go on ahead to tailor made. I'm sure, probably, as we do more stuff with me, and we're probably fixing things like this. And. Hello. Uh huh. Just talking about. Hi. What is this? You're, you're like meant to hang things on it. But I don't know what for. And there's people talking here, Owen and Yan. And so you see, uh, that mischievous little Mion made a teensy little mistake. When she said that we don't charge for overnight commissions, uh, what she meant to say is that actually, we do. Did we do any overnight commissions? In fact, that's an understatement. We charge out the wazoo for overnight commissions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know all about the overnight policies. It's just that Mian said she thought she could get us a discount. Oh. Yes, well, she's been overruled. Sorry, old pal, but if we made an exception for you, we'd have to start making exceptions for everyone. And that would be far too exceptional. That's true. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't want to shortchange the good folks over at the Commerce Guild. Yeah. That's what I love about you, Owen. Always so perfectly punctual with your payments. Well, I must be going. My employees won't reprimand themselves, don't you know? <laughs> so long. I mean, I'm, I don't get reprimanded. Oh, hey, uh, you've come at just the right time. So the wildest thing happened. Uh, Grace had a little spat with the oven and uh, <laughs> a long story There's short, blew so the many whole kitchen to smithereens. There's so much work. Don't worry. Everyone's fine. And luckily, Mian was available to help out with damage control. 
Oh, that's good. So that's all well and good. My issue now is that the night the kitchen exploded, Grace insisted she'd take a pay cut until all the repairs were paid for, and she wouldn't take no for an answer. But now... No. Now, without me Anne's discount, I just can't let Grace foot the bill. She'd be scraping by for months, if not years. I don't quite understand. I paid Yen already. It's water under the bridge in my mind. Because, you know, these things happen. I, I can't stand letting her take on such oh, a such huge a burden. Guy. She's just a student. Oh, and it's such a good All guy. Right, so here's where you come in. As a builder, you can just convince her that the repairs aren't that expensive. <laughs> that then she won't feel so bad, and maybe she'll just forget about the whole thing. It's foolproof. Okay, let's All go. right. Uh, but uh, let's not be too hasty now. We need to be prepared if we're really going to change Grace's mind. She really has a way of turning things around on you. <laughs> Here's what kind the of preparations do we Whenever need? Whenever she asks you, just follow my lead. Capiche? Don't let her throw you off your game. Stick to the plan. I got it, Owen. Guess I'm sticking to the plan. Gonna be. Let's go track down Grace. I'll be right behind you. Okay, so where's Grace? She's inside the Blue Moon Saloon. Talk to Grace with Owen. Where is she? She's in the kitchen. So is the kitchen fine? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's fine. I just need to put in a bit of salt. She's gonna drop the whole thing, is she not? Ah, uh, thanks, boss. Ah, <laughs> seems someone hasn't quite learned their lesson, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, look who I've brought. Your friendly neighborhood builder, here to help us come to a, a conclusion on that whole explosion incident okay oh hey and you're still on about that owen that was a terrible mess and i'm completely to blame i'll be footing the bill in full for the kitchen restoration regardless of what you may have told the builder here okay. hey uh, come on grace it's it's no biggie and and even if it was the blue moon has plenty set aside for rainy days or explosive days for that matter <laughs> anyway, everything is taken care of now, and it hardly cost me a dime. Uh, don't believe me? Just ask for a second opinion here. I feel kind of bad about lying to Grace. Owen is winking at me, okay, I'm lying to Grace. Alright, I'll bite. You plan to tell me the truth now, don't you? I do. Let's begin. What is your name? What is my name? Uh, where are you going with this one? I have my reasons. Your name, please? Okay, next question. Next, next. question. Where are you from originally? Hi, Wind. Wind. Nice weather this time of year, yes? Very windy, I've heard. That's probably it's called High Wind. Now I know what you look like when you're deciding whether or not to answer truthfully. Next, I'll be asking what I really want to know. Okay. And don't even think about bending the truth to help Owen change my mind. Got it? I can read you like a book. I'm scared. Now, builder, tell me. I'm so scared. How much did it cost to renovate the Blue Moon Kitchen? <clears throat> you know, uh, more than a few glasses of milk, <laughs> but less than a herd of yakmal. <sighs> Grace, it's fine. I wish you'd just forget about all this. Should I say it was cheap or it was ten galls? Hmm. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, after the discounts and, uh, you know, the, the Commerce Guild owe me some favors and, uh, <laughs> sure, it, it sounds crazy. <laughs> Owen thinks she doesn't believe us. If you two are going to lie, at least try to make it good. Well, let's continue, shall we? Okay. The events in question occurred two days prior, and on the second day, when I came to work, the kitchen was already as good as new. Yep. Something here doesn't add up. Don't tell me you builders are dabbling in magic. Explain. Explain. What's your angle, Grace? The two new builders in town are both riled up and full of vinegar. You're just used to old Mason and his whiny ways. 
nothing unusual here, right? Yep, normal, mm. I could do it too. I see. Next question. Regardless, Owen must have had to pay me on for working overnight. Tell me how much that would have been. Working uh, overnight? Well, uh, be that as it may, <laughs> the kind lady that she is, Mian gave me a discount. Uh, the difference in the bill was so small, I almost forgot about it. Uh... Okay, next question. Okay. Uh, Grace, 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 Grace. Enough with the third degree. There's really nothing more to be said. Is there a way to win this? You sure have a lot to say for someone who says there's nothing to say. Why do you always butt in whenever I ask a question, huh? It's starting to seem <laughs> like you two are in cahoots. Not. Cahoots? I, I mean, uh, what even is a cahoot? It's a really? game. I think this whole ordeal has you on edge. Uh, but, all right. Have it your way. I'll zip it. Continue with the interrogation, please. Okay. If something like this happened in the Commerce Guild, would your boss, Yan, handle it like Owen? Which is to say, would he insist on paying the damages out of his own pocket? Well, it's Yan. They're different bosses. I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, but the thing is, I think you do. You know, at first, I was kind of entertained by this little charade of yours. But, I mean, you could have at least put a little effort into Oops, your story. I'm sorry. I'm sticking to my guns. The kitchen damage falls on me, and that's that. All right, all right. Looks like I won't be able to change your mind. Oh, this is going to change your mind. I take 100 goals per month out of your salary, and then... 500. Let's just get it over with. What? Uh, come on. You'll be just barely scrapping by for months. That's nothing to me. What? Come on. I already agreed to let you pay. You gotta work with me a little. Stick with 100 a month, alright? Alright, alright. Thank you, Owen. No. Well, thanks for coming. And at least helping us get this mess sorted out. Sorry to take up so much of your time. Uh, stop by again soon for a drink, won't you? Okay. Talk to Grace. Hmm. Take a hint. Failed. No. I failed the mission. What could uh -huh. I have gotten? What could I, I have gotten if I did it? I really want to look. I want to look it up. What what I could have gotten if I didn't fail it. But I know that if I look it up, the time in the game still passes. So not happening. Only two glasses are ready. Jeez. Okay. Well, it looks like it's gonna take us a bit more time to fix the fix the train. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go on and finish this commission for the sunshade that I have with Owen, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!